Hi everybody, Travis here. Geez, it sure is hot on this fine summer day. You know, I could use a little bit of cooling. Of course I could go buy a fan, but even better, I'll show you how to make one for free, powered by the USB ports on your computer. Of course, I say free, but I'm assuming you have a couple things lying around the house. First off, Phillips head screwdriver, a little bit of electrical tape, scissors, paper towel, uh, some sort of USB cable, uh, normally the ones that plug into printers or MP3 players like this, USB mini connectors will work, but for the purposes of this experiment, I'm using this old laptop mouse that crapped out on me. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is an old computer. Okay, now, this probably ran Windows 98, Windows ME or 2000, and probably has fallen into disuse, get permission before you dismantle it, but that's what we're going to do, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Some computers have these little screw thingies you have to undurn. And older Dells, I know you got to push down on like this tab, and then a tab down here, and this whole side panel slides off. Some, you unscrew the screw and this panel just slides out. Some have a handy release tab right here. And then this guy requires you to forcefully pull on this bottom tab and the whole front will come off. You shouldn't have to unscrew anything yet to get to the computer case. It should be like a twisty screw or some sort of pop unless the computer is really old. All right, let's... Yeah, I pull really hard sometimes. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, no way! Alright, so you know, whatever I said, you know, just this thing will pop right off, and then um, we can look at the computer here. Uh, so, yeah, this is where the screwdriver comes in. Most likely, there's going to be a fan. My fan was in the front, um, and I just, you know, four screws to take that off. Most of the time, though, they're going to be in the back. Um, I don't recommend using the destructive methods that I used to take apart your computer because. Uh, we got some severe structural integrity here, and um, it's very dangerous, okay? Next part. Alright, so now you have this awesome fan in front of you, but it's probably got, you know, 10 years of dust and gunk in it. Ew, ew, clean it out with a paper towel. Hey, great job, that looks a lot better. Awesome. Alright, first cut off this ooey connector on the end because that's not going to work for us. Once again, important to mention that this fan will never be functional in that computer again, so make sure that that computer is never going to get used again, because the fan is a very important part of keeping the computer cool. Okie doke. So, I cut this end off, and now, if you have a wire stripper, this comes in handy, because then you can just strip this uh, insulation back to the actual metal of the wire. If not, though, take your scissors and uh, get it down to the wire. And it's just a process of making, you know, cutting into the insulation a tiny bit, not the wire, and then just stripping it upward. And just strip those wires. All right, awesome. Just like a cooking show. I have this guy right here, which came off of an old webcam, which is almost done. Okay, simply twirl the two together with your fingers and then cover them with electrical tape. Got my one electrical taped here and then this two black ones here. I just wrap the wires together and now I'm gonna tape those together. All right, it's still really hot outside, so here is the final test. USB port. Voila! You have fanage. Ooh, that keeps me real cool. It doesn't get too loud. If you get a long enough cord, that's perfect. Make sure you wrap those wires really tightly together before you tape them. Best of luck, guys. Talk to you later. Trav.